for itself. But when you read the Bible, the Bible says that what we're the real Jews according to the Bible. We're the Hebrew Israelites. We're not African Hebrew Israelites, we're just Hebrew Israelites. And just to show you the difference between that there's a difference between the Israelites and Africans, I'm gonna get a scripture for you. Give me that in Exodus. Exodus 11 and 7. But against any of the children of Israel, against any of the children of Israel, now during the time of Exodus, we were aware in the Egyptian captivity. That was us. The same way how we were in a captivity in America. That's why America is known as spiritual Egypt. Because initially we were in our first long captivity in regular Egypt. So America is known as a spiritual Egypt as well as spiritual Babel, Babylon and spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah. So read on. Shall not a dog move his tongue? A dog won't even be able to bark against us. During that time period, you know why? Because the Most High was about to destroy Egypt. The same way he's going to destroy America, he done did it to Egypt. So why can't he do it to America? Read on. Against man or beast. Against man or beast. A dog wouldn't be able to bark his tongue against us or one of our beasts. Not an Egyptian dog. Not even. Read on. That ye may know how the Lord doth put a difference. But so that you may know how the Lord put a difference. Read on. Between who? Between the Egyptians. Between the Egyptians who are an African nation. Read on. And Israel. And Israel. Israel the so-called blacks and Hispanics throughout North Central and South America. That's who Israel is. Okay? And whose fathers and whose forefathers are one of these tribes. Because you were captured in Africa doesn't mean you're African. How do we get to Africa? Matthew the 20, I mean Luke the 21st chapter and the 24th verse. Luke 21, 24. You gotta understand how we fled Africa. We fled into Africa fleeing Roman persecution in 70 AD. You understand? In 70 AD, we fled Africa fleeing Roman persecution. We're not. But the slaves, but who were the slaves? We were the slaves. See, to, to, no, no, but no, this is, this is what I'm trying to tell you. The people that they, they write about that's in history books that they say are African slaves, they, wasn't, they, wasn't called they weren't Af they were Israelites. We fled into Africa in 70 AD. You understand what I'm saying? We and why did we flee into Africa in 70 AD? First of all, we were fleeing Roman persecution. Who were the Romans? White people, right? The Romans are white. So now, we fled into Africa. Why did we flee into Africa? Because one dark nation hid amongst another dark nation. You understand? One dark nation hid amongst another dark nation. Why do we do that? Because according to the white man, what does he say about all black people? All blacks look alike, right? Just like with us, we say all whites look alike, right? We can't tell who's an Irish uh, cracker from an Italian cracker, but they can. The same way how we can tell a West Indian brother from a black American brother, right? From a Haitian brother. But to them, they can't do that. We can't even tell an African. Now, he's African. He's not our people. You see what I'm saying? We can, because why? We've been around each other. And we, we know each other. The same thing with the white race. They can tell you off the back, oh, he's Irish because of his nose or this feature, that feature. He's Italian because of this or that. Look at the way he's walking and talking and so and so, blah, blah, blah. So they, so they know. So now we fled Roman persecution not only into Africa, but into Europe also. We fled. Okay, read on. All right. Luke 24, 21, 34. Luke 21, 24. Luke 21, 24. And they, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Who shall fall by the edge of the sword? We would. Back in 70 AD. Okay, read on. And shall be led away captives into all nations. And we was led away captives into what? All nations. All throughout the earth you have the so-called blacks and Hispanics all throughout the earth. We're in Europe. We're over there in, in China. We're over there in Vietnam. We're all over this earth. Read on. Oh, hell yeah. North Central and South America. Read on. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. And Jerusalem was trodden down by who? The Gentiles, the Romans. Read on. Until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. When was that time fulfilled? When Titus Vespasian in 70 AD came in, conquered Jerusalem, but destroyed the Most High's most holy temple. 
He destroyed it, brought it down to the ground, raised it, and we fled. It was so much blood in the land, it was just flowing like a river. And that was our blood. So what did some of us do that escape? We fled into Africa. But now, later on, later on, throughout years, guess what? A couple of decades, a couple of centuries later, guess what happened? The Africans and the Arabs rounded us up and sold us to the white man. We're going to prove that right now. Give me, um, give me Joel the third chapter. So we're not Africans. We're the nation of Israel. Because the Africans and the Arabs rounded us up and sold us into slavery. Now let me ask you a question. Who does that? Uh, right, but they, they'll sell their mother. They, they just got a totally different spirit. They'll sell their damn mother. You see what I'm saying? Give me that in Joel the third chapter. Joel 3 and 3. And they have cast lots for my people. And during the time of slavery, they didn't cast lots for us. One nigga, two nigga, three nigga sold. Right there. Right, and guess what else? Right down on Wall Street. What do you think Wall Street, what do you think they had down on Wall Street in the 1800s? Coming in on them ports. Slaves. You go in the basement of those buildings, right. you got the chambers when down you, there. Right, when you go in the basement, why, why do you think down on Wall Street that they have what they call an African burial over there? All the slaves that were no good, that were sick, they buried them down there. All the slaves that died coming off the ports of Wall Street, they buried them down there. You understand? What'd you say? It's called the Spartan. Right, right. The Spartan theory. All the weak ones that, that wouldn't make it, kill them, bury it down there. Like, have you seen the movie 300? All the weak babies, what they do? Get this damn child out. He ain't gonna make it. You understand? That's what they did. So that's why all down in the Wall Street area, that more and more they're finding what? Bones of our people. Because that's where they were burying the weak ones at. Bury them right there. Bury them right there. Bury them right there. That's why Wall Street is suffering now. Because of what they done to us. That's why. America's fell. America's done. They're, 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 they're still trying to say we're not in a recession yet. You go ahead and believe that if you want. What you need to start doing is stocking up dry food. Actually, it was over like Get a grill. Years ago. Yeah, it, no, actually, it was over years ago. It's just becoming a reality now. A lot of people just still walk around working down there. No, no, you know what it is? They know what's going on, but their hope is not in God. See, when your hope is in God, you want America to fall. My hope is in God because I want this country to fall. Why? Because a better place is, is prepared for the so-called blacks and Hispanics, the kingdom of heaven. You can't live off this wicked-ass society. The so-called black man is so dependent on a white man, it's pathetic. They, they, you got to do what you got to do. You do what you got to do. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know how to survive. But watch a lot of our people when they start putting the freeze on these banks and their money stuck up in there. Watch a lot of people start start resorting to killing each other. They go, you're going to have to seek the most high. You're going to have to seek Christ. There's no way out. Finish that up. Right. And they have given a boy for a harlot and so They've given a boy for a harlot. Read on. And so the girl for wine. So a girl, a precious woman for what? Wine. Read on. That they might drink. That they might drink. Read on. Yea, what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? Now, Tyree and Zidon are two cities in Africa. The Tyrians and the Zidonians, two African nations. Read So, the Most High is now asking, what do you have to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? The Most High has nothing to do with them. How do we know that? We're going to prove in the Bible that the Most High is not dealing with any other nation but this nation right here. Read on. And all the coasts of Palestine. And all the coasts of Palestine. Who lives in Palestine? The Arabs. You see what's happening to the Arabs over there now getting bombed? That's a good thing. You know why? Because they had a hand in our slave trade. They had a hand in that. So the Most High's asking the Arabs and the Africans, what the hell you got to do with me? You sold my sons for harlots and our daughters for wine. So you ain't got nothing to do with me. Read on. And all the coasts of Palestine. Will ye render me a recompense? And if you recompense me, swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. So the Most High, for what they did to our people, during that time, rounding us up, what they call black gold, the Most High is going to return that back on their head. That's why them African nations over there in South Africa, they're suffering. 